Good evening and welcome back once again. So we had a narrow 2-1 win in the last match, although we played a lot better than the opposition. Uh, they scored off a free kick, which is against the run of play, but we got the three points. Ourselves and Barcelona are the only two teams that have been 100% so far, so four wins out of four. We're playing third place Real Sociedad, who are unbeaten. Let's see how we get on couple of changes again unfortunately Xerxes on a downward red we've had that with a few players recently so we've brought in Ruben Castro who unfortunately is also on a downward orange which isn't as bad but we're going to start him up top the rest of the team is fairly standard we are bringing in Mariba and we're brought in McDowell in place of Emerson just to give Emerson a rest he has been one of our best players so far this season I think Emerson probably the brightest out of the new signings although they've all done pretty well and it's good to be back at home again at La Rosa Leda. Like I say, I think Emerson's probably been our best player of the new guys. Cousin's been pretty reliable. Uh, back at left back, again reliable but not spectacular. Mariba's been pretty good. But Emerson has really put on a tank display at times. But rested for this game. I do like the look of the, the midfield of Mariba, Cousin's and Vieira though. And obviously Herrera's in in there sometimes as well so we've got a good sort of four for three positions that we can pick from the main guys and the likes of Arcas can go in there as well Harrington can play an attacking midfielder role I mean Vieira is probably number one choice nice ball here's Castro oh he just gets tackled as I was about to play the pass there not ideal playing him on a on an orange condition, but uh, needs must. Good tackle for McDowell, the youngster who hasn't had as much game time because of Emerson being bought. And he's obviously a far better player, Emerson, at the moment. But McDowell is definitely one for the future, and he's he was pretty good towards the tail end of last season. We haven't been spectacular in the last. That's offside. We haven't been spectacular in the last few games. We've we've got the wins, um, but we haven't been as clinical, as normal, as fluid. So that's partly to do with mixing the team around quite a lot. We've had a few players on downward conditions and things that we haven't been able to play as well. Um, and it's the start of the season. So we're just trying to find our feet a little bit. But we've won every game. So that's all you can ask for really. Nice play by Vieira. Just get it back there. Side. I was actually trying to play it to Castro. Um, I was going to go for the one-two. Nice play there. And Mudrick's in here. Castro, oh, no, sorry, it was Vieira that was in. Just overplayed slightly. And here is Castro. Lovely ball to Mudrick. Mudrick, oh, wide. Beautiful take. Great pass, but a beautiful take. Cut back in on my right. Delayed the shot a little bit to avoid the second player. Really well done, but just couldn't quite curl it enough. That's more like it for Mudrick. We haven't seen as much of him this season in terms of that attack and threat. I don't know if teams have adjusted for my play, but that's a foul. It does seem like... They're stopping us on the wings, which was probably our main area of threat. 
I know we've got that central trio, but our threat really comes from the wide areas. Um, he gets Perez. Now Cousins. Back at Mudrik. Cousins again. Poor. Just a soft pass there. Need to be played quicker. Don't know how they got that ball through. They were very lucky there. Nice tackle from Umrajic. Poor pass though. It's a bit sloppy the past couple of minutes. Nice clearance, but need to get the ball back. There we go. Oh, that's not a foul. Oh, not a free kick there as well. I hate this. I hate free kicks there. I'm putting someone on the line. It still doesn't matter. What am I supposed to do? This game is ridiculous for free. How can the player not stop it there? That's a terrible camera angle. Um, I absolutely hate it. I really do. Because, first of all, referees give free kicks when they're not a lot of the time. And then if you give the opposition a free kick within sort of 25 yards, you're just screwed, basically. Um, it goes in about 80% of the time, maybe more. Anyway, here's Mudrik. Back to Mudrik again. And I don't mind, you know, if someone's got a world-class free kick taker and they score maybe, you know, one or two in ten, something like that, that's a bit more realistic. Here's Mudrig. Oh, deflects. Not the best defending there. Good tackle. Kosanu. Castro, 1-1. One, one. On the stroke of half time, we deserve that. Fairly straightforward goal. Finally win the ball with Cossonu. Nice to Peter Perez and perfectly timed. It's just on side. Straight ball. Probably you would say poorly defended. Really nice finish though. That will be half time, I believe, and it is. And no surprise, we've got two thirds of the possession, more of the chances, but again, just that one free kick. It's, uh, it's, it's ridiculous, really. If anyone's got any tips on how to defend those free kicks, as you saw, I've I've tried using the triangle method where you try and bring the keeper over to the side where the wall is. That never seems to work. The keeper basically hardly ever moves, and they don't even seem to dive to save it a lot of the time. Now he did there, but he got we didn't get near it. I've put a player on the line there. I've tried to press square a couple of times to try and clear it. Didn't even attempt to clear it. So I don't know what to do. So any tips, I would appreciate it because that's something that regularly happens and um, it's just annoying. Nice play. Here's Mudrik. Now Castro. Oh, Mudrik couldn't quite take it there. Cousins. Oh my word. Struggle with his right, which is his weaker foot. Not sure how close it was. But it was well hit. Oh, it's not the best camera, but it looked like it was relatively close. He's definitely a good bargain, Cousins. We've got him on a free transfer. He's got a Looks like a quality player and he's still young.
Good save. Oof. That was a good effort. Right, I'm not going to watch it all the way back either from there again. Again, we haven't been at our best today. Do you think that free kick against us was a bit of a, a setback? Now we've got a goal back, which is good. And we've been certainly the better team, but past few minutes we haven't looked so that's just over I'll tell you what we're going to make some substitutions we're going to bring on Herrera for Cousins and we're going to bring on Harrington for Mudrick so just the two subs today we normally try and make three but pretty much everyone else is either needing a bit of a rest themselves or the likes of Xerxes who's on a downward red who we just we can't bring him on well where was Baka? Supposed to be passing that back there, he seemed to be off the pitch for some reason. That was strange. Oh, Carlos Perez need to do better there with that pass. Oh, they got very lucky there. We pressured them into making a mistake. Yeah, they're getting the run of the ball a little bit. And they have looked a little bit dangerous in the past 10 minutes or so. So we've got to be careful. It's going to be a foul, isn't it? No. Not that I'm the best at free kick taking, but um, I'm sure the AI would have got a free kick there if it was the other way around. Just the way it is. Just can't quite keep it in. Nice, uh, nice one head of that. Hamilton, oh, he was in there and he got seemed to get fouled. Castro, oh, no, just a little bit too slow. Of course, his energy's down a bit, so he can't sprint onto it as much as he would have been able to do in the first half, for example. Yeah, right now Castro. Hampton. Castro. Castro! What a finish! What a player this young boy is. I mean, he's like 40 or 41 in real life, but this is the regen, remember? Lovely chip over from Hamilton. Nice first touch and smashed home. Had to try something different there. And it's Hamilton the sub that's made the difference. Like I said before, there's something about Castro. His stats aren't amazing. Um, for regen, he's, you know, fairly average. People got. Certainly stats-wise, he's probably one of the poor ones in our team at the moment, and understand me because he's only 16 as the regen. But there's something about him that, yes, finishing is insane sometimes. And I remember that from previous games, he just had something about him, played better than his stats. Which is what I love about Pez, you do find certain players that just, they just play differently. Um... Under pressure there. Come on. Free header. Nicely played there. Vieira. Oh. I was actually trying to play it to Mariba, but he tried to play it to Castro, I think it was. Nelly fell to Mariba after that anyway. Oh, 
Oh, nice ball to Perez. He hasn't got much uh, energy left. Perez. Oh, just wide. Had to go for it. Had a little bit of space. It's only a foot or two wide. A bit of luck there. Is Vieira? It's all going off here. I don't know what's happening. Oh, <laughs> we won, but I just won the ball back there. I could have had a chance for three, but. Ruben Castro with a double. And no surprise, the majority of the possession, shots wise, they had five to our six. And no doubt that Castro was man of the match. From what the stats say, yeah, I don't think anyone but Castro really stood out. I don't know, it's a bit of a strange performance. Subs did well. I mean, Harrington created the second goal, so that was a good sub there. And as you can see on the right hand side, we are now top of the league. Barcelona must have drew their last match. So we're the only team with winning all matches. Top of the league. And the next match we are away in the UEFA Europa League. So that should be a difficult match. But thank you very much for joining once again. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Drop a comment down below and think about subscribing to the channel to keep up to date. I'll see you all next time. Cheers.